a first order reaction takes place takes 30 minutes for 50 percent completion calculate the time required for 90 percent completion of the reaction the first order reaction takes 30 minutes for 50 percent completion so 50 percent completion is the time taken is of so t of that is equal to 30 minutes t of is equal to 30 minutes then for 90 percent completion what is the time required t for 90 percent completion is equal to what so this t50 so this can be written as t50 t50 percent it is 30 minutes so t90 percent what is the time required to complete it has been given as a first order reaction so let us write the formula for first order half life period it is equal to k is equal to 2.303 by t of log of a by a minus x right so now we have to find out the t of a that is equal to Two point three not three by T of by K. So two point three not three by K into log of A by a minus x so here we have to find out time for 90 percentage of completion that is equal to 2.303 by k log of a by a minus x that is let us take 100 by 100 minus what is x here 90 right okay so this is a thing now we have to find out the k for this one we have to find out the k for this so as we know the t of that is equal to 0 0.693 by k so this gives k is equal to 0 0.693 by t of right so that is equal to 0 0.693 by 30 minutes which is equal to 0 0.0231 per minute 0 0.0231 per minute now so we can find out the value of k here k is equal to substitute the k here in this equation so that is equal to 2.303 by point not 231 into log of 100 by 10 so this gets cancelled so log of 10 log of 10 is nothing but 1 so that is equal to 2.303 by 0.0231 into log of 10 is equal to 1 so that is equal to 99.69 minutes that is equal to 99.69 minutes so again coming from the beginning so it has been given as a first order reaction first order reaction the first order reaction that play that takes 30 minutes for 50 percent completion so calculate the time required for 90 percent completion so by using the tf you are finding out the value of k and substituting the value of k in the first order t of equation that's it